In early 2004, good old mother nature and the North Fork Licking River combined forces and smacked the east bank near our pipeline right away on our east part of the Heath Line. What we had was an extremely eroded east bank on the North Fork. The river had come around the corner and basically the foul wag or major current of the stream was all the way over against the toe of the bank. And over the past 10 years, that had been the case. And basically it had come around and in a crescent shape, just basically eating the bank back into the cornfield. The property owner alerted Marathon National Pipeline that possibly there was a washout of our east bank near the pipeline and we dispatched Marathon Ashton Pipeline region personnel to make a visit to determine what had happened. When they came to the site, they found approximately 60 feet of pipe exposed and spanning down and into the river. As we began the preparations for our emergency repairs, we became aware of the City of Newark Sanitary Sewer Line, which runs parallel along the East Bank here. We also became aware of the North Fork Licking River that it supplied the drinking water for the city of Newark. So not only was the Marathon National Pipeline in jeopardy, so too was the city of Newark sanitary sewer line and also possibly the drinking water for the city of Newark. Conversations soon began with the city of Newark and team members were formed with representatives from the city of Newark's engineering department, the sanitary sewer department, Marathon Ashen Pipeline, Marathon Ashen Petroleum's Marketing and Transportation Engineering Department, the property owner, a local environmental consultant, and also a contractor who specializes in pipeline waterway repairs. We immediately recognized that there were advantages of having a cooperative effort with the City of Newark, and we soon began evaluating different repair options. Once we became aware that the city had uh, a sewer line that was also in jeopardy, as was our pipeline, um, we started, started formulating a repair strategy that would complement both utility lines, the cities and Maples. And we worked together to formulate a repair strategy and a permitting strategy that would allow us to permit our repairs as one project. And that ended up working very well. Um, it probably expedited our project through the permitting process as well as the city's project. Had Maple tried to um, permit this project on our own, um, it's likely that our permitting process would have been much longer, um, more difficult, and in the end, our repair costs would have likely been much higher. We agreed that a combination repair was the right fit for us, and that repair was a stream bank restoration, which included Benway weirs, and also the installation of submar concrete mats to protect the Marathon Ashen Pipeline. Benway weirs are a term that is used to place rock in a specific angle such that the water passing over the weirs pass it in a direction that you want it to go to. So in this case we're going to be diverting it away from the bank more toward the river channel and it works to our favor. The dynamics also allow then that the deposits made behind the weirs will add sediment, begin to build in behind so Mother Nature works for our advantage to reinforce this bank. It's uh, an articulating concrete mat that uh, is like a, a large blanket, but instead of putting a rock over a pipeline that weighs 40 pounds. It's uh, a concrete element that's very thin and flat and hydrodynamic in the stream, so it can lay flat, but covers it like a blanket, but it's connected to a large mass. The mat weighs 6,000 pounds. The rope has a 10,000 pound breaking strength, so it's an engineered product that works well with the stream flow. It also traps sediment within the uh, openings of the mat elements. It allows revegetation on the bank, and it also, once again, in many places, creates habitat for uh, fish and, and other wildlife that may be in the area. Part of the stream bank restoration was the planting of vegetation to prevent further erosion. We contacted a local nursery, and the city of Newark and Marathon National Pipeline worked closely together to select the right type of plants we have uh, three 
types of plants here. Uh, the trees are a prairie cascade willow, typically planted along uh, water's edge. They do love water and their roots do grow out quite quickly to help stabilize soil. The two shrub types that we have over here are the uh, bush honeysuckle that get about three or four feet and the dwarf Arnold uh, forsythia, both again indigenous to Ohio. They'll each get about three or four feet tall and grow vigorously so that the root, roots will, again will stabilize the soil in a quick manner. It's a planting that uh, uh, outside of a few waterings when we first installed uh, the plants will really require no maintenance at all. The main goal of the permanent fix is to attenuate the current, stop the erosion. Uh, essentially what we've done is protected a, a pipeline for Marathon, Ashland Pipeline, and a sewer line for the city of Newark. So on the top of the list is to keep those assets safe. Um, the secondary uh, impacts, uh, the positive impacts that we've had with the project are the stream restoration and the habitat, the enhancement that we've done as a result of that. The initial plan that was developed in April by Submar showed something similar to this, but it was basically a plan where our sewer would have been still not under the river, but right at the bank, edge of the bank of the river. And it's actually turned out a little better than that because the bank was pushed out far enough that if we had to access our pipe with track hose or anything, we could dig straight down in this new, new material in the new bank area now. And that's a real plus for us. We wouldn't have to move the stone or get a permit from the core to get into our pipe. So that's turned out to be a real good plus that uh, we weren't expecting. So it's turned out better than we expected. And looking at the stone and how it's placed here, how the river's acting now, it seems to me that this will probably be a very permanent fix. I see it as a winner in three ways. Is the property owner is a winner. He's not losing vegetation. He's not losing property. The city is a winner because they, we've protected their valuable asset, that being the sewer. Maple is a winner. We got shared cost for this project. We're protecting our assets, so now we can continue operation of that. So this is a three-part winner, and I'm a proud to be a part of that process. I'd like to present this to you. It's a plaque and one of six elm trees donated on behalf of Marathon Ashland Pipeline for the cooperation with the City of Newark on the North Fork Licking River Bank Restoration Project. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.